America? How are you? Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're talking about the background leading up to the Declaration of Independence. For much of the 1600s, England had largely neglected its American colonies, which were 3,000 miles away and little trouble to manage. As a result, as early as 1619, when the Virginia House of Burgesses was formed, the colonies began to set up legislative assemblies and manage their own affairs. The relationship changed after the French and Indian War ended in 1763, a conflict in which American militiamen had shouldered a significant portion of the fighting. England had a large army to support and a depleted treasury as a result of the war. Consequently, Parliament decided to station an army in North America for the first time and to have the colonies pay the bill. The problem was the colonists wanted neither the troops nor the cost. To raise money, Parliament also enacted a series of unfair taxes on the colonies, starting with the Stamp Act in 1765. Our requests for change were ignored and the relationship began to fall apart. So why should the background leading up to the Declaration of Independence matter to us today? It is important to remember that by the mid-1700s, the American colonies had learned to govern and defend themselves. We had proven we could manage our own affairs. People began to realize it made no sense for a government in which we had no representation and was thousands of miles away to continue to make decisions for us. Aren't we fortunate that our forefathers had the wisdom to see this? Until next time, may your love of country lead you.